Hi there, it's Chris. In this guitar tutorial, we're taking a look at Should Have Been Us by Tori Kelly, learning both the chords and melody. On-screen tab and music notation is included throughout this lesson, also available to download as free sheet music by clicking the link in the description below. Starting with the rhythm section, there's three chords which repeat throughout the entire song, varying the strumming pattern to outline each section. So it's F sharp minor, E major and D major. So let me talk you through an easy way to play F sharp minor. It's the second fret on strings one, two, and three. You can play it like an A major chord, but just one string down, and you strum strings three to one or one to three. If you'd like to play a full bar chord shape, you want to flatten your first or index finger on the second fret of all six strings, third and fourth fingers go on the 4th fret of strings 5, and then string 4. So that's F sharp minor. E major, the 2nd chord, is open, open, 1, 2, 2, open. Playing all 6 strings starting from the top. And D major, this is a 4 string chord, so played from the 4th string or 3rd string down. 2, 3, 2, 0. For the verse section, you want to play this strumming. So it's a downstroke on F sharp minor. Then you want to play a down scratch or muted chord strum. Simply to do this, rest your fingers of your fretting hand on the strings and play a down pick. So. Down, down scratch, then we want to play an upstroke on E major, then a down scratch, then repeat the same strumming for E to D, so down, down scratch, then an upstroke on D, then down scratch. One last time. Okay, for the pre chorus section, it goes like this. So, we're going to play power chords for this. Um, doing a technique, using a technique called palm muting, which is where you cover uh, the strings with the palm of your hand uh, very close to the bridge. So it's two on the top string, four on the fifth, and four on the fourth, and you play this three times. Then slide your fingers down to open six, two on the fifth, and two on the fourth, and you play this seven times. And then it's D major, but with just the second string, third fret, two in the third string, and open fourth, played five times. Once more.
And on the last round, it goes like this. So you begin with three lots of F, F sharp minor, seven lots of E, and then three lots of D with a palm mute, and then twice played normally. And you want to include the full full string version of D. So one last time. Next, we're going to take a look at the chorus section. We want to repeat the same chords, F sharp minor, E, E, D. You start with a down up, then a down up scratch, flat on your fingers. Then you've got an, a down stroke on E, up down, then down up, then repeat the same strumming but for the chords E to D. So down, up, down, up. And then D major, down, up, down, 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 up. Let's put it all together. For the second half of the chorus, the strumming goes like this. So it's down, down, up, then up, down on E, up, down, 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 up. And the second half, E to D. One final time. Let's take a look at the melody. So the first line goes like this. All played on the third string, you begin on fret number four and the rhythm goes like this. And again. To finish with, it's four sliding to six and then double two. Line two is very similar, and it goes like this. Then four sliding to six, double two. Line three goes like this. Five on string two, four fours on the third string, back to five on the second string, five fours on the third string to fret number six, then 
then on the third string still, it's going to be two, then four, sliding to two, back to four. The next line goes like this. On the third string, it's fret number four played like this. One last time. Then four sliding to six, double two on the third string. Then double four on the fourth. Two four on the third. Two five on the second. And the fifth line goes like this. So four on the third, four on the fourth, two four on the third, two five on the second, four to fret number two on the third, then double four on the fourth string, two four on the third, two five on the second string, and line number six goes like this. So four on the third string, five on the second, four on the third, five on the second, then four sliding to fret number two on the third string. And at this point the chorus begins, it's 11 on the third string, 10, 12 on the second, 9 on the first, and the next line goes like this. On the first string it's 9 sliding to 7, 3 nines, 10, 9 on the first, 10 on the second, repeat those notes again, so three nines on the first, 10, nine, 10 on the second, then three more tens, 12, nine on the first, and then you repeat that phrase again, uh, the ending's slightly different, so. Here's where it's different, so 10, slightly longer, then sliding 12 to fret number 10. On the third string, it's four 11s. String, string two, it's 10, triple 12 on the third string still it's 12 double 14 on the first string 14 12 then 11 on the third 10 12 on the second 9 on the first the next line goes like this Nine sliding to seven on the first string. Twelve sliding to seven on the second. Then three nines on the second. Ten. The next phrase goes like this. On the 
on string three, it's 12, 10, 10, 9, 10. Triple 11 on the third string. On the third, it's 12, 10, 10, 9, 10. 11 on the third. And the final phrase goes like this. Twelve, ten, ten, nine, ten on the second. Three elevens on the third. Ten on the second. Three more tens. Three elevens on the third. <laughs>